Botched plastic surgeries have left women in Omaha wondering if there's anybody out there willing to help them. And tonight, one surgeon from out of state says he's up to the task. The women have told their stories and showed their scars to KMTV 3 News Now. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. So far, at least 14 of them are suing the doctor who performed their surgeries. In a story you'll see only on three, Southern California board-certified plastic surgeon wants to help the women feel whole again. Here's Jake Wazikowski. More than one dozen medical malpractice lawsuits filed against an Omaha doctor who apparently performed cosmetic surgery in his West Omaha office for years. One month ago, we spoke with five of the women who said Dr. Gerard Stanley botched their surgeries. This is video of Dr. Stanley from a story we did with him in March on microneedling. They were left scarred, in pain, and some who couldn't be repaired. I can be fixed, but I'm terrified. I've already been told by a doctor that I could have died on his table on his time. Court documents say in the last few years, Dr. Stanley performed liposuctions, breast augmentations, butt and eye lifts, even though he's only board certified to practice family medicine. His business, Sculpt Cosmetic Surgery, has since closed. But this doctor is trained. He's just trained in something else. And for financial reasons, these patients are taken advantage of and as a result are, are, are armed. It's very disappointing. Board certified Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Roddy Raban says his life mission is to educate people about unqualified cosmetic surgeons because he's performing more revision surgeries than ever. He's reached out to offer revisions to the Omaha women at a discounted rate depending on the extent of the repairs needed. It saddens me to see that people other than plastic surgeons are giving our profession a bad name. Reinstate the confidence in their eyes and their emotions that plastic surgery is a good thing. Dr. Raban wants others to know people who have plastic or cosmetic surgery are no different than your own mothers, sisters and daughters who are trying to better themselves in ways diet or exercise just can't fix and that these women were taken advantage of. When you cut corners, there are consequences. But in this particular instance, these people didn't cut any corners. They went to a guy in their neighborhood who, for all intents and purposes, looked very legitimate and they were, um, they were lied to. So in this instance, they're victims. All of the medical malpractice lawsuits are still going through the Douglas County District Court system. Now, Dr. Robbins says if you're considering plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery, ask the right questions and check their credentials to make sure a surgeon is qualified. Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Tonight, 